Hey everyone, this is Andrew with an AWS tutorial series on setting up a static website in S3 with an SSL certificate using Certificate Manager and CloudFront. The site I'll walk you through is for awstutorialseries.com where you can sign up to join a private community on Slack. So make sure you get your invite. So the setup for this is very simple. You're going to want to go to S3, create a bucket, select static web hosting and enable website hosting. Here you're going to specify two HTML documents that you want to use as your index and your error. And you also have an endpoint. Now this endpoint is used as basically a URL to your website, which you're going to put inside of CloudFront when you want to set up your CDN. Another thing you'll want to do is edit the policy on the bucket. Um, so this policy that I have here is basically read only access for anonymous users. So every time I upload, um, let's say a new HTML page or a CSS or JavaScript, um, I don't have to make that file public. It already does it for me. Um, and I'll link that in the description below. My bucket setup is really simple. I got a couple folders and an HTML page. And you'll notice from before, my error document points to my index.html page. And that's because it's a single page website and any URL you hit, I want it to go to the same index.html. So the next thing that we need to look at is now we need to look at how SSL certificates are managed within Certificate Manager. So we're going to bump over to Certificate Manager, and you'll see that I have a certificate for awstutorialseries.com. Um, you'll see that it is in use, and it's in use with CloudFront. And this is very simple. You basically request a certificate. You're going to want to do star.example.com and then example.com so you can have the root domain. Then you will review and request the certificate. And all it's going to do is it's going to send an email to the domain owner, and you will confirm that email, and then you'll have a valid certificate for free on Amazon. The last thing we want to look at is the CloudFront distribution. So I already have this distribution created, uh, but I'll walk you through uh, how it's all set up. So you can see that my origin here is the website endpoint uh, that I showed you earlier. It's not the actual bucket name, it's the website endpoint. Um, I have two C names here, awstutorialseries.com and www.awstutorialseries.com. If we dive into this CloudFront distribution and we click edit, you'll see my alternate domain names here, my custom SSL certificate, which I created within Certificate Manager. Nice little drop down available to your CloudFront distributions. If we jump over to our Origins tab, you'll also see that I have the, um, the endpoint in my S3 bucket for my website. Again, this is not the S3 bucket. This is the website endpoint for that bucket. So the last thing that I want to walk you through is Route 53. You'll see here my root domain is an A record and it's an alias uh, to that CloudFront distribution. And then www.awstutorialseries.com is a C name to that distribution. So make sure you sign up for the Slack community. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much.